I really wish I didn't have to make this video. But for a long time, people have messaged me and commented on my other videos asking two questions. What happened to the disappearance of Dr. Sharp, my Lovecraftian ASMR tale, and will I be continuing behind Heaven's Veil, my priest ASMR tale? I'm going to answer both of these questions in this video, however, I do ask that you proceed with caution. To provide context, I will be talking about a truly awful person, as well as showing and reading aloud some screenshots of our conversation shortly before and after he deleted his internet presence. So, content warning, abuse and manipulation. In this video, I'll briefly discuss a former friend I once trusted. Shadowy Whispers. I will not be discussing the details of the allegations he's been accused of or naming any of his victims, or anyone else who was previously affiliated with him. It is not my place, and they deserve to have as much distance from him as possible. It should go without saying, but please do not attempt to contact Shadowy Whispers, his victims, his family, or any former associates of his. His victims don't need any further stress from inquisitive strangers, and Shadowy Whispers has since been arrested and is being dealt with by the law. I am in no way, shape or form, comparing how he affected me to the abuse inflicted upon his victims. This video is intended to be an explanation of my previous ties to him, and to answer your questions regarding why some of my content is missing from my channel, not to initiate a witch hunt. This will be the only time I bring this topic up and I do not wish to discuss these events any further. Please do not seek me out in regards to the information I have explained here. Comments have been disabled and this video will not be monetized. Shadowy Whispers was an ASMRist who I had collaborated with on several occasions. If you've been subscribed to my YouTube channel for a few years, you may recall which ones, but for clarification, the videos that featured him were Adorable Lunch with Hades and Persephone He played the bartender, aka Asmareth, in Chapter 5 of Behind Heaven's Veil and he played Professor Edward Softly in The Disappearance of Dr. Sharp. Over the years, we had formed a friendship and he had always been friendly, polite, supportive and kind to me. Not once did he make me feel uncomfortable and I had no reason to suspect that there was anything sinister beneath the surface. In mid-September 2021, I noticed that his YouTube channel, Patreon and Discord server had all been deleted. As I had previously collaborated with him on his channel, some of his fans at the time were familiar with me. So they started sending me private messages and posting comments on our collaboration videos on my channel, asking if he was alright and to please check up on him. I did so, because at the time I still considered him a friend. Hi Shadow, I saw that your channel and socials are down, is everything okay? I truly thought that perhaps a loved one was unwell, or his work had discovered his online presence and asked him to delete everything. Any other reason why he would delete everything never even crossed my mind, especially when he posted on Twitter that he was taking a break. Apologies that I don't have a screenshot of this, as his Twitter was set to private or deleted shortly after he posted it. At the time, I was still convinced that he or a family member was hurt, so I reached out to him again. I saw that you were taking some time for yourself, and I really don't mean to pry into your personal life, but I'm worried about you. Your channel and Discord are gone, and your Twitter is on lockdown, I'm assuming privated, and I've had some people comment on our collab videos on my channel asking about your channel vanishing. I 100% understand if you needed to take some time away, but I just wanted to make sure you're alright. A few days later, I woke up to concerned DMs from friends within the ASMR community asking if I was alright, as Shadowy Whisper's actions had been made public, thanks to his victims bravely stepping forward and speaking out about the terrible things he had done. After looking at the information that had been released, I immediately set all videos on my channel that featured him to private and posted the following announcement across my social media. In light of the news being made public about the abhorrent actions of Shadowy Whispers, I have severed all ties with him. Over the past week, several of his concerned fans reached out to me for answers about his disappearance. He is gone. It is not my place to elaborate on the details, 
I will not share links to the evidence or name the victims that have come forward, as matters like this require discretion and its contents are potentially triggering. This is a serious matter with legal ramifications and should not be treated as flippant internet drama. I ask that you please respect the privacy of those directly involved. It took great strength for his victims to step forward and tell their story, and I commend them for their incredible courage. All previous collaborations on my channel that have featured him have been removed. At a later date, the disappearance of Dr. Sharp and Behind Heaven's Veil may be re-released with a new voice actor and all trace of him erased, but I am deeply uncomfortable touching these stories at this time. Behind Heaven's Veil is on indefinite hiatus. I will not be streaming on Twitch this Sunday. A new ASMR tale is scheduled to come out tonight that I hope you all enjoy. I once considered him a close and trusted friend, and I cannot begin to describe my disgust and anger. My heart is with all those who are hurt by his actions, and if there's anything at all I can do to help, please DM me. Stephanie Swan Quills. I also went to Discord to send one final message to him. Just in case he decided to check his messages, I didn't want the last thing I said to him to be a message of support. All I said was, Do not ever speak to me again. So of course he messages me back the very next day. Stephanie, nothing I say may convince you otherwise, but the information spoken about me is only a half-truth. I wish I could prove otherwise, but to do so would be to hurt more people. The truth is, I did hurt people very close to me. Unintentionally, but still hurt them nonetheless. I came onto Discord to discover the truth, which I found, and saw your messages. I know that you do not want to hear from me. I know that you have heard that I... Allegations that I will not be discussing. Despite having proof, I am going away and not fighting what is said about me. Shadowy Whispers is dead. I wish to go away and not engage because to prove my innocence would mean to destroy someone else's life. And I have damaged their life enough already. I am sorry to have hurt you with what is said about me and believe me when I say I wish I had made several different decisions but I am removing myself from people's lives, including yours. Not because I hate you, but because of the shame associating with me could bring. Goodbye, Steph. I wish I could tell you everything, but it is better to just accept that I can no longer be in this community no matter what. To say that I was disgusted with how manipulative this message was would be a severe understatement. This is the last thing he ever said to me, and I have never spoken to him since. With the context now explained, I will answer your questions regarding my missing videos. Adorable lunch with Hades and Persephone will remain set to private indefinitely. I never want that man's voice on my channel again. The Disappearance of Dr. Sharp Months passed since September 2021, and over the Christmas period at the end of 2021, I began work on trying to recast Professor Edward Softley with the intention of remaking the select chapters he was featured in with a new voice actor and new art depicting the character. After discussing the context surrounding the recast and asking if they were comfortable playing the role, I cast the role to a new ASMRist. He sent me the first set of lines, but upon having to listen to Shadowy Whisper's voice again to re-edit the audio, I quickly became very, very uncomfortable. After trying my best to work on the project for several weeks, I decided that this was severely impacting my mental health and I would have to put this project on indefinite hiatus. This is why the disappearance of Dr. Sharp will remain private for the foreseeable future and I have no plans on resuming this project. I informed the voice actor of this development and they were incredibly understanding and sympathetic. I look forward to the day when I can showcase their talents on my channel in a future video. Behind Heaven's Veil Though Shadowy Whispers was only featured in one chapter of the series, he was intended to be the voice of the main villain, and I'd written the future scripts with him in mind. I would need to undergo a similar process of recasting his role, and I do not feel comfortable listening to his voice anymore, even for editing purposes. This leaves the series on an indefinite hiatus, which does not sit right with me, as I only want to feature works that I am proud of on my channel. 
so it is with deep regret that I have set all chapters of Behind Heaven's Veil to private, so that newcomers to my channel do not find an unfinished story and I can minimise confusion regarding why this series is left unfinished. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry for any disappointment, frustration or sadness you feel because of this decision. But I ask you to please understand that I spent many, many hours on these videos and it breaks my heart to have to shelve them. I pour my heart and soul into my work and to have someone I once considered a friend now tainting those stories with his voice fills me with disgust, anger and sorrow beyond description. Many years ago, I was also a victim of horrific manipulative abuse, so to have yet another person I once considered a friend guilty of doing such abhorrent things, it brought up many unpleasant memories for me. But I have worked through and healed from the pain inflicted upon me by my abusers, so I was able to process my feelings regarding this ordeal in a healthy way. I sincerely hope that everyone who was hurt by shadowy whispers gets all the help and support they need so that they too can heal. I really wish I didn't have to make this video. But I no longer want anyone to ask me what happened to these ASMR tales that I was once so proud of. Please respect my wishes, as I want to move forward and tell amazing new stories full of adventure and hope and let this ugly past remain buried. If you've made it to the end, then thank you, my lovely lost tale. Here's to new horizons and the stories that lie beyond them. And don't forget, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night.